My name is uh, Alessandro Rombelli, I'm the owner behind uh, the 72 project. Uh, this is my second boat uh, built here at Baltic and uh, I'm very happy to be involved uh, with this uh, interesting uh, project. Um, the boat is a development of the one that was built uh, three years ago. Uh, the one that we had was more uh, an hybrid between uh, cruising and racing and after having done a few races uh, Baltic uh, and having uh, like uh, the 65 uh, boat, uh, uh, the decision to come to Baltic for the successor was an easy one. Um, plus uh, the experience uh, uh, racing and what I learned uh, during uh, the races uh, done in the last few years uh, gave me more expertise and more ability to be able to make uh, the right choices. Uh, particularly important has been to be uh, amongst uh, a team of professionals very highly regarded uh, uh, and uh, with a lot of background uh, that uh, taught me a lot uh, and uh, gave me uh, a lot of food for thought and a lot of information uh, and uh, this was uh, and is being transferred uh, into the boat uh, uh, constantly. Um, the exercise uh, is a three-party exercise where we have uh, uh, our team, uh, the designer team uh, and the shipyard team. And we all work uh, very, uh, in, a, in a way, very well uh, organized. Uh, we have been very lucky that our navigator uh, is Silvio Di Vabene. Silvio has a background as a project manager for Mascazzone Latino before and uh, Aninghi afterward. Uh, so it was a very natural choice uh, to appoint him as a project manager and uh, to have him uh, uh, involved uh, on a daily basis uh, in the project before and the building after of the boat. Uh, and this connection uh, and relationship with a lot of uh, key players uh, in the industry has also been instrumental because we were able to transfer into the boat uh, a lot of uh, new ideas or new technologies uh, that we all are going to be very, very uh, helpful. The boat has been designed by Judah Vrolik uh, and uh, in terms of uh, how it shapes uh, is a successor to the RAN project uh, adjusted to take in consideration uh, some of the changes uh, that came into play. First, the fact that uh, the mini maxi class is now more or less a box rule uh, with a maximum length of 72 feet, which was not the case when RAN uh, was built. So we tried to maximize the volumes uh, in the bow section, for example, to make use of the maximum length uh, uh, that we can uh, uh, have under the rules. Uh, and secondly, the fact that, in example, some of the uh, shape, uh, shapes in the aft portion of the boat uh, had been changed uh, because uh, there has been some uh, certificate penalties that uh, are being applied and so we decided to stay out of those. Uh, the major uh, goal we have uh, is to have the boat uh, delivered uh, by mid-June uh, because we want to take part in the Copa de Rey which is going to be sailed uh, mid-July. Uh, it is a very ambitious uh, plan uh, because we need to have uh, the boat built uh, in a record time uh, considering the, the complexity of the system and the size of the boat and then it's uh, ambitious also because we need to get uh, to know the boat uh, and test it and do sea trials uh, uh, just a few days before the first race so even if uh, 
We are going to use the Cup of the Race as a training exercise, but we'll still be doing a competition and it's going to be challenging to be able to perform in a professional way with such a short period of test and train, but we will do our best.